G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. There are so many waffle recipes out there, it's actually pretty unbelievable. But everyone's favorite is Belgian waffles. There's only a few different ways to make it, so I'm gonna show you my version. So join me today as I make my version of Belgian waffles. Now with this Belgian waffle recipe, we're going to start off with two egg whites. So I've separated the yolk from two egg whites, but I've also kept the yolk aside to use later. So we're going to beat these egg whites on high for a few minutes until they come up to a nice, white, stiff consistency. Okay, so that's the consistency you're after. As you can see, they're nice, white and fluffy. Okay, so next into a separate bowl, I'm going to place in half a cup of vegetable oil. Just don't use olive oil because it's got a very strong taste. Then to that, there are two egg yolks that I separated earlier on. Then two cups of milk. Half a teaspoon of salt, which helps enhance the flavor, and a quarter cup of sugar. And just give it a good mix for about two minutes until it's well combined and the sugar's dissolved. Okay, so once mixed, I'm going to finally add in two cups of self-raising flour, or two cups of normal flour with about four teaspoons of baking powder. And give it a good mix until it's well combined. Okay, so once it's all nice and smooth and lump free, Lastly, we're going to place in our beaten up egg whites. And all you have to do now is just simply fold it through. Just trying to mix it too much because you want to keep the air in the egg whites. So just keep folding it through until it's well combined. So that's the sort of consistency you're after. It's still very airy and bubbly as you can see, but you don't have any big lumps from the egg whites. It's just nice and smooth and bubbly. And lastly, all you need now, of course, is a waffle maker or waffle iron. So I'm just going to give it a quick grease. I'm just going to use some spray-on oil. And just very carefully pour on our waffle mixture. Then simply close your waffle maker or waffle iron and cook them for about, say, two minutes. So once ready, we're just going to lift up our lid. And there we have our delicious Belgian waffles. Now it's up to you what you want to put on your Belgian waffles. Personally, I like some maple syrup. And some cream. And there we have a very simple, very easy, but very delicious Belgian waffle recipe. So they're fantastic for breakfast or, let's be honest, any time of the day. As long as you have them in moderation, of course. But they're kind of crispy on the outside, not too crispy, but very fluffy in the center. Then when you whack in all those delicious toppings that you can think of, these Belgian waffles taste simply delish. So make up a batch for breakfast, and don't forget to put them on Instagram and hashtag Todd's Kitchen. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another mm -mm delicious recipe.